happy vlogmas day one. Let's um, rewind a little bit. Here comes Dora. Hi, that's not for you. Hi, Mike. Hello. Happy Thanksgiving, fellow Americans. We are staying at home today. Mike graduates the police academy very soon and he will pretty much be working every holiday from here on out. So we both have a four day weekend and we're just gonna enjoy each other right now. We're gonna spend the four days together and we're not gonna be with family today, just our little family. We did have Thanksgiving with his family last, last weekend. I don't feel like we're missing out on anything. I'm gonna make us a nice Thanksgiving dinner. And I got up and made us uh, hash browns and eggs and bacon this morning to start, which was delicious. And yeah, so want it? Oh, God, no, no, no. <laughs> well, not gonna do that. No, it's fine, it's not that loud. I'm about to shut him up anyway. Mike's pissed the Lions. What's the score? We're down by four, and there's 30 seconds left, and it's fourth down. Do we have the ball or do they? We have it. So we're not going to win. Dub Bears. We as an alliance. Not that I give a shit. Uh, I put on some makeup, even though we're staying at home. I don't care. I want it to look pretty and put on some makeup and try out the new, well, it's not new, it's new to me, uh, Naked Cherry Palette from Urban Decay. So let me take off my glasses. I really think that the um, hair towel pulls the look together. <laughs> so it's my first time using it. I really like how it turned out, actually. Um, and I really like this lipstick. This is the first time I've ever used Urban Decay's lipstick. I am cooking our Thanksgiving dinner now. I just put the cranberry sauce that I made in the fridge. Um, I let it cool on the stove for probably about an hour. I could have put it in the fridge a while ago, but whatever. And over here I have the chicken thighs sitting out, um, just getting to room temperature with some Italian breadcrumbs on them. In the instant pot is green bean casserole. Um, it's just on slow cook. And then right now in my little countertop oven thingy, actually this shouldn't be on that. It is uh, some sweet potatoes. When the, when the sweet potatoes are done baking, I will uh, take the skin off of them, throw some butter and sugar on them and put them in here, as many will fit at least, um, and put them back in there, or I might have to use the big oven for that because that little thingy and the uh, one that the chicken is in will not fit in this thing together. We don't really use our big oven because it's a piece of shit. Yeah, oh God, I gotta clean this so I can use it. Look at the color of this. I don't know if the color is gonna come across as beautifully as it is like in person. I love this, I had to buy it. Target held me down and stole money from my wallet. <laughs> yeah, it's a Starbucks cup. There's, I went to a Target where there's a Starbucks. <laughs> and I saw it um, at the checkout last night when I went to buy Felicia Day's book and it's just beautiful. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna go beg Mike for a shoulder rub because I'm tense. Are you looking for dropped food? You won't find any. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I got you a little croids over there. This is our spread. We have um, chicken thighs with uh, like Italian breading on it. Be careful when you pull one out because the breading is gonna like go everywhere. Um, sweet potatoes with a ton of brown sugar and butter. Cranberry, apple, cinnamon sauce, and green bean casserole. And there's a spoon for that. Cool, it looks very good. Yes, it does. I'm very excited to dig in. I'm hungry. Drop it. 
<laughs> I don't want your paw, but thank you. Oh, cool. Happy Thanksgiving, Chora. Clean the table. Was that delicious? Look at that clean plate. You don't even have to wash it. Was that like the best meal ever? My true or false? false. You <laughs> true or false? You were offended the other day when I didn't just assume that you wanted brownies for dessert. False. <laughs> Not false. It's totally true. I didn't just assume it, or you didn't just. That assume I didn't it? just assume that the answer would be yes. Oh well, yeah. When you ask me, of course the answer is yes. Right. I thought you just. <laughs> Draw go get scissors. Unfortunately, these are gonna take about forty-five to fifty minutes to bake. Draw is really interested in things. Okay. Get, no, mm-mm. <laughs> Eglin's best has some thicker shells. Maybe their chickens are healthier. All right. That was a Kroger egg, the first one. Do not eat raw brownie batter. Screw that. It says you can add half a cup to a cup of chopped candy bars to add flavor. <laughs> oh. We do, have, we do have Hershey's chocolate bars. Wait. One minute. It's the holiday mint M and M. Holy crap! I like how we like never have him up here, but like he's been up here a lot today. Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's a special day. That we don't always sit at this table either. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, let's put this in the pan. So Mike bought me some aloe plants the other day at Kroger and they came in these like really cute pumpkin containers, right? And um, adorable. They were on clearance for $2.99 because they're in pumpkin containers. Well, the plastic pot on the inside is bigger than this lip. So I successfully got one of them out. And then I sat it on the edge of the table. And that happened. I barely touched it. Just. So now I'm repotting. <laughs> Whatever. I have succulent mix in the basement. Ah, uh, just. Not what I was planning on doing tonight. <laughs> I was just gonna water them. I was trying to take them out of the pumpkin things to water them and then not put them back in the pumpkin things because it's a horrible container for aloe. <laughs> yeah. Now that I have the aloe repotted, it's back there. Used what I had that worked well enough. <laughs> it's 
my very first aloe plant, so I hope they're okay. I feel so bad. The one that I tipped over like totally fell off and hit the ground floor, whatever. I got Felicia Day's book last night at Target on my way home from work and I'm actually gonna write in it. Sorry, I'm sniffing it. I love the smell of books. <sighs> this one smells so good. <laughs> It is like a workbook. It's called Embrace Your Weird, Face Your Fears, and Unleash Creativity. And so it's actually set up to write in the book and do different activities and exercises in, in it within these pages. Um, some of them that I was reading through last night actually say without the pages. <laughs> Probably won't do that. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those destroy your journal type deals. Um, well, those are cool, and I actually started one. I don't want to rip pages out of it, and I, I know that's like one of the exercises. I feel like for me, at least, writing in it, actually writing in the book is enough because I've always had a hard time actually doing that, and it wasn't until I was in school again um, recently, you know, as recent as two years ago, that I actually felt okay writing in books and taking notes in them, but I've decided this one, I'm actually gonna use it the way that Felicia intended when she wrote it. We'll see how that goes. Okay, well, I did it for four and a half minutes. I'm pretty satisfied with it. <laughs> so the prompt is, you just open the front door and a dinosaur in a tuxedo lounges for your face. What do you do? Fill the page with what comes to mind. Incomplete sentences or drawings are fine. Just go, go, go. You have five minutes, put a timer on and start. So mine says, holy shit, where the fuck did a dinosaur come from? Dr. Hammond is a monster. <laughs> of course, I'm live Instagramming this. It's a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Ding, it's done now. It felt good, right? Yeah, it did. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to love this book. That's so funny. And then the next one is draw the worst picture of a horse in the space below. Make efforts to draw as badly as you can. <laughs> okay, let's see how horribly I can draw a horse. This is my bad drawing of a horse. All of its legs are on one side. It's gonna fall over. This is awesome. The brownies finished while I was in the middle of that mess with the plants. Oh, let me show you what I put the plants in. This is the thing that was down inside that pumpkin. So, whatever. I put this one back in there. I gotta dump that water out of the bottom. With succulents, you're like supposed to saturate the soil and then like get rid of any standing water. So that's what I gotta do, but see it's really big. This one's heavy and it has a lot of roots. So I had to go down and grab this pot right here. A friend gave me this um, when she moved to Texas. So luckily I had that one available. But they're huge. Like this one's especially huge and it's very, very sturdy. It's like, I don't know, it's nice and firm. There are three spoiled people in this house. That includes you, Jora. We've played two hands. What color am I? Green. Yeah, boy! That's me up here at the finish line. It's cheated. I did not. Oh, there's, there's a skunk line. And he's all the way back here. 
not a cheater. Oh, just do that I want. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Jorah's so annoyed. For sure. Good night. Thanks for watching.